All right, guys, let's talk about something that a lot of people don't realize matters when they start peptides, and that's MTHFR. If you've ever taken a peptide and felt flushed, warm, a little anxious, or like your heart was racing for a minute, you're not crazy, and you're not reacting to the peptides. A lot of times, it's the MTHFR gene influencing how your body processes histamine, methylation, and detox. So here's the breakdown. Number one, people with MTHFR tend to be more sensitive to histamine. Peptides like CJC ipamorelin, BPC-157, TB-500, and even GLP-3 agents can release a tiny bit of histamine. Most people clear it fast, but if you have an MTHFR variant, you may clear it slower. So that little flush or moment of warmth or feeling wired, totally normal, usually gone in two to 10 minutes, unless you have MTHFR and it could be a little bit more prolonged than even that. Number two, sometimes the first couple weeks on peptides can feel like lower energy. That's not the peptide hurting you. It's your body shifting metabolism, improving repair, and pushing growth hormone output. MTHFR can slow detox and methylation, so these shifts feel stronger at first. Number three, here's the funny part. People with MTHFR often respond even better to mitochondrial peptides. So things like MOTC, SS31, 5-amino-1-MQ, or NAD blends like the metabolic blend can actually feel incredible. More energy, better focus, steadier blood sugar, improved workouts. These are the exact pathways MTHFR struggles with. So support here is noticeable fast. Number four, a little support goes a long way. Hydration, electrolytes, magnesium, and methylated B vitamins. These can smooth out histamine reactions and help energy stay high. And lastly, number five, the big takeaway, there are no dangerous interactions between peptides and, and MTHFR. It doesn't change the receptors. It doesn't block the benefits. You may just feel things a bit stronger for the first couple of weeks, so hang in there. And honestly, most people with MTHFR end up doing amazing on peptides that reduce inflammation, support mitochondria, or help with gut repair. Pair. So things like BPC-157, KPV, GHKCU, thymosin alpha-1, Clotho, GLP-3, really shine here. BioGut Pro, definitely add that in too. Try it out. So if you've got MTHFR and you felt your peptides a bit more intensely, that doesn't mean something's wrong. It usually just means your detox and histamine pathways are a little slower and your body is adjusting. If you want help building a stack that fits your biology, message me or email me at thepeptideadvantage at gmail.com. And remember to always be your own health advocate and stay healthy.